They've been bombed, blockaded. Now they've fled their homes. The lives of some spent in the shadows of this decades-old conflict. The lives of others just beginning and forever changed by it. Thousands of ethnic Armenians have been pouring across the border from Azerbaijan. After Azeri forces seized control of their home, the breakaway region of Nagorno-Karabakh. The gunfighting was everywhere, all the time, not even a five-minute break. We could not leave the basement because it was too dangerous. We could have died at any moment. They're safe now, in shelters provided by the Armenian government. But many say they're unlikely to ever return. All of us were crying, this woman says. And I want to cry right now as I speak, because I left everything. The Azeri military launched what it labelled a counter-terrorist offensive last week, quickly overpowering separatists who had controlled the region since Armenia and Azerbaijan first fought a war over it three decades ago. Flames engulf former Azeri homes. During that original conflict, thousands of Azerbaijani residents of Nagorno-Karabakh and the surrounding areas were forced out as Armenian forces gained the upper hand. Now ethnic Armenians fear they'll be targeted by Azeri authorities. Russian peacekeepers in place since the second Nagorno-Karabakh war in 2020 have been helping evacuate residents. But preoccupied by the conflict in Ukraine, Russia has held back from supporting its longtime ally Armenia, which has been drawing closer to the West. Russia remains distracted and overwhelmed by its failed invasion of Ukraine. But second, Russia has demonstrated over the recent past several years its inability or unwillingness to actually interfere or intervene to defend the Armenians. By contrast, Azerbaijan welcomed key ally, Turkey's President Erdogan today. Symbolically, they chose to meet in Azeri territory, separated from the rest of the country by Armenia, raising fears further escalations could follow. But Azerbaijan's authoritarian leader insisted Nagorno-Karabakh's ethnic Armenian population had nothing to fear. I am sure the integration process of the Armenian population living in Karabakh into the Azerbaijani society will be successful. But few in Nagorno-Karabakh will be reassured by his words. For months, residents have had food and fuel supplies blocked by Azeri authorities. Many, it seems, don't want to wait and see what life is like under their rule. I don't know, maybe this is my last video from the Stepanak at my city where I really Gayan sent us this video life. from Nagorno-Karabakh's uh, capital. Say, they forced us to leave our city and now people, it's just chaos, people are leaving. We don't know where we're, we know that we're going to Armenia, but it's not, it's not, it's not okay to leave your city. And the exodus into Armenia is continuing, a sad end to a bitter and divided conflict.